Yahudith, Judith, 1. In the twelfth year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, who reigned in Nineveh, the great city, in the days of Arpachshad, which reigned over the Madai in Ekpatani, and built in Ekpatani walls round about of stones, hewn three cubits broad and six cubits long, and made the height of the wall seventy cubits, and the breadth thereof fifty cubits, and set the towers thereof upon the gates of it a hundred cubits high, and the breadth thereof in the foundation three score cubits. And he made the gates thereof, even gates that were raised to the height of seventy cubits, and the breadth of them was forty cubits, for the going forth of his mighty armies, and for the setting in array of his footmen. Even in those days, King Nebuchadni Sazar made war with King Arpaxad, rather Arpaxad, in the great plain which is the plain in the borders of Reu. And there came unto him all they that dwelt in the hill country, and all that dwelt by Parath, and Chigadelkel, and Hadassipas, and the plain of Ariok, rather Ariak, the king of the Elamines, and very many nations of the sons of Chilad, assembled themselves to the battle. Then Nebuchadnezzar, king of Ashur, sent unto all that dwelt in Persia, and to all that dwelt westward, and to those that dwelt in Sicilia, and Damascus, and Lebanon, and Antilibianus, and to all that dwelt upon the sea coast and to those among the nations that were of Carmel and Gilad and the higher Galil and the great plain of Yisrael and to all that were in Shomeron and the cities thereof and beyond the Ardan unto Yerushalayim and Betain and Kaluk and Kedesh and the river of Mitzrayim, and Tachpanesech, and Ramasek, and all the land of Goshen, until ye come beyond Tanis, and Memphis, and to all the inhabitants of Mitzrayim, until ye come to the borders of Cush. But... All the inhabitants of the land made light of the commandment of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Ashur. Neither went they with him to the battle, for they were not afraid of him. Yea, he was before them as one man, and they sent away his ambassadors from them without effect and with disgrace. Therefore, Nebuchadnezzar was very angry with all this country and swore by his throne and kingdom that he would surely be avenged upon all those coasts of Sicilia and Damascus and Aram, and that he would slay with the sword all the inhabitants of the land of Moab and the children of Ammon and all Yahud and all that were in Mitzrayim till ye come to the borders of the two seas. Then he marched in battle array with his power against King Arpachshad in the seventeenth year, and he prevailed in his battle. For he overthrew all the power of Arpachshad and all his horsemen and all his chariots, and became lord of his cities, and came unto Akbaktani, and took the towers, and spoiled the streets thereof, and turned the beauty thereof into shame. He took also Arpachshad in the mountains of Reu and smote him through with his spears 
and destroyed him utterly that day. So he returned afterward to Nineveh, both he and all his company of sundry nations, being a very great multitude of men of war. And there he took his ease and banqueted both he and his army a hundred and twenty days.